Bangalore has almost 300 football clubs, yet there are only six turf grounds for players to train. Clubs say the Karnataka State Football Association should make more training grounds available. It's a lot of problem for the practice. So we have to hire the grounds outside. The club is not, has not got any uh, sponsors or anything. We are doing it by own. We don't have any sponsors from it's our own pocket. From our, yes. We are doing it everything. So I know from the case of you also, we, have, we don't have any... Help help and With multiple leagues at various levels, football in Karnataka has been able to reach to almost 30 districts. With the ongoing Bangalore District Football Association tournament, 20 teams have been playing the Super Division. Players say the association should also keep in mind the growing need of infrastructure. Like we should book before the... like We have so many teams here, everybody keeps booking the tournament. And even this under-18 boys, like under-19 boys, everybody practices here. So we should book it like, before like, everybody. While the players and club owners complain about poor infrastructure, including no digital boards, the Karnataka State Football Association says lack of funds and space availability are the reasons for not having enough grounds. They say that the turfs or the artificial grounds cost a lot. Regarding the development of the stadium, I do not know whether you are aware that Ozone has won the bid to build the stadium, <coughs> but they are not able to be, get the necessary permissions from the government. So we are also in touch with them of late, we are putting pressure on them. So unless they pull out, we can't do anything because it's an international tender. So hopefully some movement will come on that front. Karnataka State Football Association also says that the clubs are registered only when the club owners assure them that their club has a place to practice. Nonetheless, today's match between Bengaluru Independence FC and Young Challengers FC was nothing less than a treat to the eyes with Bengaluru Independent FC swiping a 3-1 victory and going strong in the tournament. This is Surbhi Sada, reporting for CityCast, Bangalore.